It has a ringed tail, but it isn't a raccoon. It has a long tail and climbs trees with ease, but isn't a monkey. It has a tough, bendable snout, but it isn't a pig. This active, highly social, intelligent, and curious mammal is a coati, found in rainforests, cloud forests, and grasslands from South America to Mexico, and a few live in the southwestern United States. Though they look like a combination of a lemur, raccoon, and monkey, with possibly a bit of piglet thrown in, Coatamundis are officially part of the raccoon family. They hang out in trees and have brown-colored fur and a long snout that helps them forage for insects and fruit. Their ringed tails give off more raccoonish vibes, but there are plenty of distinctive characteristics that set Coatamundis, also called Coatis, apart from their black and white cousins. How does a Coati manage to climb down a tree so quickly? It has reversible joints on its ankles that allow it to scamper down a tree head first. Yes, Coatis have evolved to develop double-jointed ankles in order to help them climb trees, along with strong claws to excavate prey from logs and burrows. Their double-jointed ankles can rotate a full 180 degrees, allowing them to climb down trees head first with relative ease and at high speeds, helping them evade predators more easily. These joints are also extremely flexible. Their front paws are highly dexterous and can help them escape from almost any human-made enclosure. Coatis use their long nose, acute sense of smell, and bendable snout to sniff out food on the forest floor. Its tough snout can root through dirt or leaves to find insects, grubs, lizards, or fallen fruit for their next meal. Along with being good climbers, Coatis are excellent swimmers. While most of the day is spent foraging for food on the ground, they do their sleeping, mating, and birthing in trees. After mating, the female begins the task of building a sturdy tree nest for the remainder of her gestation period and to give birth. She goes there alone, leaving the rest of the band behind. The pregnancy lasts three months, and the two to seven kids she births stay in the tree nest until they can climb on their own. At around six to ten weeks of age, they rejoin the band with their mother. No matter the species, Coatamundis are extremely adaptable to a wide variety of habitats, including those of very high altitudes. They're found in tropical regions and open forests just as much as the slopes of the Andes Mountains, having been observed at elevations of more than 8,200 feet. Unlike some fellow arboreal mammals, coatis can't use their tail for gripping. Their tails are another point of departure. While the raccoon has a shorter, bushier tail of black and white, the coati's tail is long and thin. The coati's tail is also considered somewhat prehensile, meaning it helps prevent the animal from falling out of the treetops by providing balance and allowing it to keep a strong grip on branches. On the ground, coatis like to hold their tails aloft while walking around on all fours, perhaps to signal where they are to other coatis while moving through thick underbrush. In this way, a band of coatis bears a distinct resemblance to a troop of ring-tailed lemurs even though the animals live in different hemispheres and are not closely related.